The year was 1884, and crime was rampant in London. The police were proving completely inadequate to solve the cases given to them, arresting anyone and everyone who confessed to a crime. The public needed a hero, someone that could count on to catch the criminal and solve the case. And it was in this atmosphere that one of the most iconic characters of all time was created, Sherlock Holmes. To this day, Sherlock Holmes has been inspiring generations to think of problems in new and fascinating ways. But just who is this character? Today, we will sleuth through the history of Sherlock Holmes, discover the science behind the stories, and unmask the cultural changes that happened as a result of his existence. Just like any detective novel, we must first start with the most basic questions. Who, what, when, where, and why? The history of Sherlock Holmes is just as fascinating as the novels themselves. The stories were written in 1884 by the author Sir Colin, Colin, Colin uh, Arthur Conan Doyle, uh, with the first story being A Study in Scarlet. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle wrote the stories for two very important reasons. One, he needed the money, and secondly, he wanted to show the public what the police could do if they applied logic and reasoning to their cases. The character Sherlock Holmes was based off of the real-life doctor, Joseph Bell. Bell was said to be able to deduce where a patient came from and what ailment they were suffering from before they even opened their mouth to speak. If this didn't parallel Sherlock Holmes enough, Bell was also one of the very first medical forensic doctors performing autopsies in order to discover the minute, to solve the cases, and catch the criminal. In the end, Doyle would write over 70 short stories detailing the life of Sherlock Holmes and his faithful companion, Dr. Watson. Doyle would even try to end the Sherlock Holmes series early by having Sherlock Holmes plummet to his death at the Rhinebeck Falls in Germany, only to be brought back eight years later due to public outrage. However, the story doesn't end there. Sherlock Holmes had inspired a generation of thinkers. And what better application of Sherlock Holmes is the science of crime solving itself. In the Sherlock Holmes stories, Sherlock had a small chemical laboratory in the back of his home from which he would conduct many different scientific experiments to, in order to solve his cases. This would inspire Edmund Lockhart, an avid Sherlock Holmes fan, to found the very first forensic laboratory in Lyon, France, in the year 1908. Locard would go on to create one of the founding principles of modern forensic science, the Locard Exchange Principle, which stated that whenever two objects come into contact, they leave a trace on each other. An example of this is if you touch a tabletop, you'll leave a fingerprint on the tabletop and a small amount of varnish underneath your fingernail, a very Sherlockian concept. Sherlock would also inspire the Austrian judge Hans Gross to write the first manual on crime scene investigation. In it, he would use many of Doyle's concepts, such as crime scene preservation, witness protection, and the chain of custody and evidence. However, it doesn't even end there. Sherlock had founded the basic principles that would become many fields in forensic science. In the story of Study of Scarlet, the first Sherlock Holmes novel, Sherlock Holmes would say, quote, you have come at a crisis, Watson. You have come at a crisis, Watson. If this paper remains blue, all is well. If it turns red, it can mean a man's life. He dipped the paper into the test tube, and it turned at once into a dull, dirty crimson, thus creating the field of forensics toxicology, or the study of poisons. Sherlock Holmes also said, quote, in the Naval Treaty, saying, quote, saying in the Naval Treaty, quote, if a herd of buffalo had passed through this womb, broom, there would be no greater mess, end quote. And we all know how important it is to keep a crime scene clean in order to not contaminate evidence. In a third story, The Adventure of the Empty House, Sherlock would have found the basic principles that would eventually become the modern field of ballistic science. In totality, Sherlock would create many of the fields of forensic science, including modern-day forensic biometrics, modern-day entomology, forensic fingerprint analysis, and blood spider analysis just to name a few. Doyle would go on to make his mark on modern day culture. 
inspiring millions to think outside the box. All in all, Sherlock would be the most portrayed actor in cinema and television to date, with over 75 actors taking on the role. He even appeared in a 1908 play by William Gillett, and in the two latest Sherlock Holmes movies starring Robert Downey Jr., he is inspiring a new generation of young thinkers. There are even the two latest shows, BBC's Sherlock and CBS's Elementary, both of which take place in modern-day London. Authors are even getting in on it, and taking Doyle's brainchild and putting it into their own stories. This includes authors such as Stephen King and Maria Konnikova. There are even authors who are taking Doyle's concepts of deductive reasoning and using them to teach people how to think differently. You can even join International Sherlock Holmes Society of London online. And men's and women's fashion giants across the world are drawing inspiration from Sherlock Holmes fashion. It seems that no matter where you turn, Sherlock Holmes is everywhere. In all, Sherlock Holmes has inspired everyone, almost. He has made being smart fun and thinking outside the box popular. But just why is he so popular to this day? Well, let's solve this last mystery as Sherlock Holmes would have wanted us to. Sherlock Holmes is an everyday superhero. He doesn't need to fly, have superpowers, or be exposed to deadly radiation. He has his bad qualities, an extreme lack of emotion, extreme arrogance, and a drug addiction. But we forgive him for this because of his many good qualities, his moral compass, his amazing mental abilities, and in the end, we need someone we trust to catch the criminal and solve the case. So I'll leave you with this. If Sherlock Holmes can solve any case he can think of with only his mental abilities, who says we can't? Case closed.